Kids Church Online. We are beginning a brand new series this week and for the month of September called Wise. And we're going to be talking about what it means to be wise and how we can gain and use wisdom in every situation that we're in. Do you know what wisdom is? Wisdom is where you combine knowledge and experience to produce good judgment and action. And we need wisdom because it allows us to navigate through life situations and make better choices. We can learn about people who made wise decisions in the Bible, and we can learn from the people in our own lives who also make really wise decisions. So today's big idea is wisdom comes from God. We can ask God to give us wisdom because wisdom comes from God. All we have to do is ask. So let's check in with Carl and Cassie and see what they have to teach about our big idea this week. Here they are. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Cassie. And welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Introducing your host, Carl. And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, Talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey, everybody. How are y'all doing today? I, I don't think we can hear them. It's a it's a video. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Um, well, I'm glad y'all are here because it's going to be a great day. Well, you better be excited. Because right now it's time to play a game. What? What game? It's called Would You Rather. A question is going to pop up on the screen and you're going to have two options. It's a silly game, but it'll teach us a lot about each other. Are you ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Am I ready? Carl? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. It's time for Would You Rather. First question. Would you rather live on the beach or the mountains? Easy. Both. It doesn't work that way. What do you mean? You have to choose one or the other. I would choose the beach, because it's pretty and I'd learn how to surf. Oh, all right. Well, I'll choose the mountains, because I've always wanted a pet grizzly bear. All right, next question. Would you rather have the legs of a frog or the head of a horse? What kind of question is that? A weird one, but we got to answer it. I'd go with legs of a frog. What? You'd have long, slimy legs? Imagine how hard jean shopping would be. It'd be terrible. True, but can you imagine having a horse head? Hmm, I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> All right, frog legs it is. Okay, this is the last one. Are you ready? I was born ready. Yes, I'm ready. Final question. Would you rather have wisdom or be the coolest wealthiest, most attractive person in the world? Well, that's not a fair question. What? Why? Because I'm already the most attractive person in the world. <laughs> yeah, and you're very humble too, right? The most humble guy I know. <laughs> Anyways, I choose wisdom. Really? Even over being cool or having the most money in the world? Yep. Well, now I have to choose wisdom because I don't want to seem like the bad person. Well, you don't have to. I just remember what Solomon did, and I figured I'd try and do the same. Well, who's Solomon? And what did he do? Solomon was a king in the Bible, and he loved God a lot. And one night, Solomon was having a dream, and God began to talk to Solomon. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. God asked Solomon what he wanted. He could have asked for the whole world. Well, what did Solomon ask for? A puppy? A cat? An airplane? A cup of jello? A bowl of cereal? A sandcastle? A rocket? A corn dog? Popcorn? A good head of hair? World peace? A unicycle? An up dog? What's up, dog? What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't ask God for any of that. He asked God for wisdom. Really? <laughs> That's strange. Why is that strange? Well, it seems like he could have asked for something better. I understand that, but you gotta know we can get money, cars, puppies, and all that other stuff all on our own. Well, maybe from our parents, but only God can give us wisdom. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Hm. I guess you are wise after all. Maybe, I just know it's always good to remember that wisdom comes from God. Well, my wisdom is telling me that you just said, <laughs> wait, wait, 
Oh, uh, the big idea! This week's big idea is wisdom comes from God. That's right, Cassie. And on the count of three, we're all going to say it together. One, two, three. Wisdom, wisdom comes, comes from God! God. Woohoo! How wise is our God? <laughs> Good job. Wisdom. Wisdom. Well, Cassie, I think we learned a lot today. And I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of <gasps> What? Is something wrong? Um... Your face is a horse. Have a great week, kids. <laughs> She's a horse. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of... Today's Bible story comes from the book of 1 Kings in the Old Testament, chapter 3, verse 1 to 13. So pause and read the story together with your family. Welcome back. Even though he had every reason to rely on the wisdom of his father, Solomon decided to lean on the wisdom of God. Why do you think Solomon asked God for wisdom? He could have asked for anything. Can you imagine if God asked you what you wanted most of all the things he could have? Solomon asked for wisdom. Solomon knew one important thing. He knew that wisdom comes from God. So today's video is really short and the rest of the September one should be relatively short too because we know a lot of our families have headed back to school, whether in person or virtual. So let me share this month's memory verse with you. Uh, our memory verse for the month comes from the book of James in the New Testament, chapter 1, verse 5. Let's read it together. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God and it will be given to you. James 1, 5. Awesome. So work on that memory verse throughout the month of September. Wisdom isn't just about knowing a bunch of random facts. But it's about using the things we know to make good life decisions and good life choices, especially when it comes to our relationship with God. Which makes sense since wisdom comes from God. There it is. That's our whole lesson today. Wisdom comes from God. Don't forget to ask God for that wisdom and try to be wise in your choices this week. So thank you guys all for joining us this weekend for our Kids Church Online. I hope you have a great week and I will see you again for our next wise lesson next week. Have a great first week back to school. Tell me all about it.